ऑल राइट सो टुडे आई वी टॉकिंग अबाउट द कलेक्टिव बार्गेनिंग राइट चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं सो वट इज कलेक्टिव बार्गेनिंग वट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव द एम्स द टाइप्स एंड द थ्यूरीज एसोसिएटेड और द रिलेटेड विद द कलेक्टिव बार्गेनिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट राइट जी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज कलेक्टिव बार्गेनिंग सो वेन यू आर ट्राइंग टू बार्गेन बट नॉट इंडिविजुअली इन अ कलेक्टिव मैनर and when we talk about the collective bargaining in terms of the labor or the labor laws it means we are talking about the union of the labor or the trade union we can say all right so yahan pe we can say it's a process basically process of negotiations between employer right or employees so either the group of employees there or the employer so negotiation between these two groups either the employees can be represented by the trade union so that would be a group of people that we uh, would be a group of uh, workers and on the other side either by the employer or his representative that might be the management right so that is the uh, basically the negotiations between these two parties is termed as the collective bargaining right and it is said to be the key so what is the purpose through which the employer and their organizations and trade union then can establish fair wages and the good working conditions so what is the aim basically and we will discuss it and if we talk about the definition how do we define it has been defined by the supreme court of india itself it says that the technique so it is a technique as per the apex court of india by which dispute as to the condition of employment is resolved amicably so it is a kind of dispute resolution mechanism dispute settlement body right so dispute settlement how amicably not coercively or forcefully but amicably how by agreement rather than coercion so it means it's a very peaceful way of agreement it's a peaceful way of dispute resolution in an organization where a company or a corporation or a uh, like a factory is having a number of workers and if any dispute arises between the management and the workers that can be settled by collective bargaining so this is the crux of this right and what would happen in the process the discussions there will be negotiation between both the parties the employer and the employees and it is concerned with the relation between the union representing the employee and the employer so it's all about their relation whether they're harmonious or there is generating some kind of friction between the employer as well as the employees right then what is the objective of the this act or the what is the objective of the collective bargaining so if we talk about the objective these are the objectives we can talk about like to foster and maintain the cordial and harmonious relations between the both the groups either it is the labor group or the management groups so between these two parties how do we maintain the relationship and what kind of relation the harmonious relationship so this is the objective basically so to reduce the friction right so that is basically the one of the objective we can say second is to protect the interest of both the employer and the employees okay so there are a number of uh, comments from the students i couldn't see it earlier now can see so very good evening vinakshi is there pallavi and ankur and uh, vikas kumar and dinesh right coercion when we force somebody to do anything right or we can say it is kind of exploitation पहले भी क्या पूछ रही हैं एनीबडी हेल्पिंग फॉर करंट अफेयर्स प्लीज प्रीवियस 